Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been... Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. When you have kids, it's hard to find a quiet time when they're awake to do anything. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. This is Mara from MWS Draw. It's been a few days since um, Inktober began. Well, more than a few days. It's been a couple weeks. And I have was starting this channel, trying to be positive, and um, I just wanted to get, I was really inspired, and I wanted to just try and draw every single day for Inktober, and it was working. Um, where I last left off was day two of Inktober, which was, or just Tober's list, just Carp's list, just Tober, and um, <clears throat> the word was smile. So I did catch some footage of that before I ran out of space on all my devices. So I will put that here now. I, I was drawing, it's not that I didn't have time to draw, but a lot of things happened behind the scenes that made it kind of impossible to upload or edit or anything. And because I had a lot of technical difficulties. I, um, I have a really old computer. It's from 2015, I think. Yeah, 2015. So it's quite old. and. Not that it's it's slow or by any means, but it um, it ran out of space. Yay! <laughs> so I had to figure out a way to to get all the information off my computer so I can continue to use it because obviously right now I don't really want to buy a new computer because it actually works pretty fast for what I need it for. I'm not doing super crazy editing or anything. Well, I had this external hard drive, extra external hard drive, so I thought, okay, I'll plug it in. And it wasn't working so I thought well that's weird it's not a, a, a not uh, recognizing it and so or it took a, a while for that cord to come in because I didn't have a USB to USB for some reason I mean I had a whole bunch of cords I don't know what happened to them so I had to order one didn't work and so I she had another uh, a system called a NAS is a network attached storage drive figure why not let's just try it out but uh, I found out that uh, my husband decided to go through a lot of the the cords and threw out the power cord yay number two yay and so so yeah I had to go on eBay look for um, a power cord that would work with it and it took a while to figure out there was nothing on um, the website for that brand that it would um, you know point me in the right direction I had to kind of figure it out by looking at the manual and whatever but so I got it came in I just crossed my fingers it would work and it did so we attached it the other day and um, it was working but my computer wasn't recognizing it so I was trying to figure out how to log in and just popped up by itself I guess it just took a while so I'm like okay yay. I didn't have to do anything <laughs> just had to wait and so now we are on day 17 of Inktober <laughs> and um, yeah, so it's been 16 days from when I last uploaded a video. I just want to make sure that I be consistent about this because art has been something I've always wanted to do and I've always wanted to try to figure out a way to make it my career when I was younger, but not that I want to make it a career now. I just really want to enjoy it for what it is because I have a lot on my plate right now. I have. You know a family three kids that need a lot of attention and I don't have much time to film and draw as much as I'd like you know but I'm hoping to to get what I can done and just enjoy the process so I was looking at a reference photo I took a picture of this um, little figurine in Hallmark and I thought it was really cute but um, so I drew it and I use this pencil here. It's a mechanical pencil, they call it, I guess. I'm not sure, but it's a color pencil. And I use this to color it in. I tried to use minimal colors. So I used uh, blue, yellow, and brown. I think brown. Just to try a very minimal color palette to see what I could do with this pencil. And it's pretty fun. I mean, it's not very like super soft or pigmented. It is a wax pencil, but it does still kind of go on nicely. It doesn't have that very shiny, waxy bloom like other cheaper color pencils have, but this is really fun to use. This pencil, you have to twist it. First, your lead has to be all the way out of the, the chamber. 
then you twist it to the color you want you just push the button or the top and then the lead comes out however long you want it and that's how you refill it too you pull it in from the, the bottom so just take it to whatever length you need and use it so this is really fun to use i had all the colors i needed in one you know one device in a sense so that was fun and i made jack and sally i love nightmare before christmas when i was younger um i watched this movie over and over and over again and it wasn't because i wanted to be an claymation but i just thought it was so nicely done the coloring everything about nightmare before christmas i love even the music jack's voice you know it was just super fun and so i've always liked them i used and when the word smile came up, I thought, who has a more, more iconic smile than Jack himself, right? I have so many art supplies in my arsenal here that I bought over the years, but never used them because, you know, I let, you know, the kids, you know, take priority, family takes priority. And so now is the first time I'm actually sitting down and starting to use some of these things. So it's been kind of nice to experiment with different mediums. When we were in, or when I was in college, um, there wasn't much as far as um, classes. I mean, there was the basic classes for like oil oils and you know life drawing and stuff, but there wasn't really anybody that I found that would really teach you really how to use a certain medium. You kind of just they just kind of gave you that um, how you say that the material to use and you just kind of had to figure it out on your own. There was one teacher I had that she was our life drawing teacher and she was really nice and she was actually a watercolorist but you know for life drawing class you, you don't use watercolor that much. We mainly use Conte crayon and that newspaper type paper that's really junk <laughs> but it was big and cheap and so she would try to get us to focus on drawing really quickly, but I don't know, for some reason at the time, I just never got or understood the, how to draw the figure, how she was trying to explain to us to figure out how to block the figure out and all these other uh, ways to draw the figure. So I just went in drawing outlines and you know, it, it works. I mean, I when I was younger, that's how I started drawing. I would draw outlines of everything. I never really block things out or flush things out in shapes or by shadow um but i know now that it is a better way to do it but i still draw the way i've always drawn so i'm trying to get better at that and draw like how i should um by blocking things out and at this point you know in the drawing when i'm doing this one this is where i ran out of space so <laughs> i'm not going to be able to finish it in this um sped up drawing but here is the final product product final product so this is my finished uh finished product of day two of just tober and <laughs> i must say that you know it's been a while since i've really drawn anything like really a long time but anyway that is my video for inktober day two I don't have any footage for any of the other days up until day 16 or 17. I'm gonna try do another one, but in my next video, I'll should just show you all the different things I did and the products I used to make them. So anyway, hope you're having a great day and keep on drawing. Bye.